We're back with Nick and Jamie, who miraculously survived a traumatic brain injury. We have pictures of you, not only of your abdomen, but mm -hmm. of basically the defect in your skull, which is just, I yeah. mean, that is a remarkable picture to see how Strange. far you've come. <laughs> mm -hmm. And to help us explain exactly what happened in Jamie's case, I want you all to welcome neurosurgeon Dr. Thomas Manning from Boise, Idaho, Woo! the doctor who performed Jamie's surgery at St. Alphonsus Regional Medical Center. Thank you not only for joining us, but for uh, doing what you did. How common is storing the skull in the abdomen uh, in a procedure like this? So, yeah, Travis, it's more common than you might think. Um, I looked back at, at the last couple of years, and, and I had done eight of these in the last two years. But then, the, you know, Sunday came up. This past Sunday, I was on call, and we did one more. Um, so that makes nine in the last two years. For how many days did you wait until you um, reattached the skull? So in Jamie's case, six weeks, 42 days. But generally, we'll put the bone flap back in between eight and 12 weeks. In Jamie's case, uh, her swelling was down by six, and that allowed us to put it in at that point. Well, just phenomenal work, Dr. Thomas. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for joining yes. us. And, and you know, Dr. Lisa, I'm convinced that there is a will to live. Mm -hmm. Even though you may not have been awake, I am convinced because how speedy your recovery was, it was almost as though you wanted to start following commands as quickly as possible so you could be with your husband and your family. Absolutely. You can see that. They were just drawing you back to life. Yep. Yeah, and how are your kids? Are they okay? They're good now, yeah. I mean, for a while, it was a little awkward, you know. Mom was a lot different, and so... There was an adjustment period, but it seemed like every week I would get better and better and more, you know, I could get up and I could get them breakfast and I could make cookies. And so all of a sudden things started getting more normal, not only for us, but for our kids. And now it's back to normal. And if I may ask, what is, what is your two secret to being BFFs? I don't know. I look at trials, I'm my own analogy, but like a hammer. You know, you're given this hammer that you can go smash windows and break things apart, or you can take that hammer, build something great with it. And I feel like that's honestly what we've chosen to do with the Lord's help. I know that his hand has been in this. Yeah. It's really great. And you guys have started a foundation, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, at the time of this accident, we did not have insurance. So some friends of ours have set up a foundation to help us earn some money toward those medical bills. And, and what's that fact, foundation called? Um, it's under youcaring.com. And it's really interesting. Four of my dearest friends, they're all former Mrs. Idaho's as well, have told me that if we can earn the money mm. or somehow earn the money for this foundation, that they will shave their heads at the end of the year. And I love this because they're dear friends to me. They're beauty queens, which you would think would be vain and, you know, into themselves. But they are willing to do this for us. So it's touching. And we'll actually have a link on our website to the foundation. So viewers inspired by your story can donate. Or if they want to see Thank a bunch you. of pageant girls, get their heads shaved. <laughs> you know? great reason. You're rocking that, that haircut, isn't she? She looks fantastic. Yeah, you Nick, thank you so much for sharing your story, and Jane, we're so happy to see you doing so well. Thank, thank you. you so much for having us. We appreciate us. it. We'll be right back.